What up guys, it's Mike, and I got a question to ask you today. If you work out, why aren't you ripped? Have you ever asked yourself that question before? Not just like you just started working out a week ago, about a week ago, a week ago, or a couple weeks ago, but I'm talking about guys I'm training for six months, training for three months, training for a year, two years, or you got guys that train for a whole 10 years that are never, never ripped. And they may have muscle here and there, but they don't have the body that they want. So today we're gonna to be talking about why that is. And I'm still talking about people that are actually working out and trying to eat right. How come they aren't dropping the body fat? How come they don't have the body that they want? So before we cover that, I wanna do a big shout out to our friends at harrys.com for sponsoring this video. So Harry solves a common problem that most of us guys have, which is overpaying for overpriced razors. You know, when your razor gets dull, it's not fun to shave with because you're shaving, you're cutting yourself, it's not even shaving well. And for me, sometimes I'll be using razors with like rust on it and stuff, it ain't good, you know? And they're expensive. You know, when you go to the store, they're like four bucks for like a razor. If you get like the Gillette Fusions or the big brand ones, and then you have to deal with also, finding the clerk at the store to go ahead and open up that plexiglass box because, you know, apparently, I guess they're so expensive that people keep stealing them. It's a big hassle. So what Harry's does is provide high quality razors, you know, equivalent to the big company ones for literally half the cost. And because Harry's make and ship their own blades, they run their company a lot more efficient than some of the other companies, which means we get factory direct pricing. So it's pretty awesome, and they guarantee the satisfaction. So a few months ago, Harry's.com sent me the Winston set. So got it right over here, and just like promised, it came right to my doorstep. So check it out. When you open up the set, comes with a few different things. First thing is the razor. Got the razor in here. I like the blade. I like the handle. The handle is nice and firm, and it comes with three different blade cartridges. You got the one that comes in on the handle, and also two other ones in a nice little box. Plus, comes with a nice razor cover, keep your razor clean, and a choice of either shaving gel or shaving cream. And for me, I kind of like gel, so I went with the gel. The starter Truman set that they have is truly an amazing deal because you get all of this for 15 bucks. That's killer. I've been using Harry's for a little while now and I love the way it shaves because it's clean, it's comfortable, and it's nice and smooth. I love the feel and the look of the box. I like how everything's all in one spot. I just use it and I put it all back. And also, I love the savings because I'm literally paying half the price than I used to in the stores. And Harry's also has an aftershave moisturizer that protects and has to hydrate your skin when you shave. So it's kind of nice. So go to harrys.com and under the coupon code section, type in the word six pack and you'll get $5 off your first purchase. Awesome deal. Harrys.com, type in six pack, $5 off your first purchase. Man, it's, you'll end up paying like 10 bucks because remember you get free shipping also. Another big thanks to Harry's for sending me the Winston set and supporting the channel. All right guys, so now let's talk about why you're not ripped. So, let's come over here to the board. So there's a lot of different things that could go on in your body as you're working out and you don't have the results that you want. So after all these, after all these years of training, I kind of accumulated it to these three main things. Before we start, just keep in mind, this is somebody who's working out you know, consistently three to four days a week, sometimes even five days a week, for example, and also trying to diet. You know, it doesn't matter what type of diet you're on. First case is somebody will be losing muscle, you'll be losing fat, and you're losing weight. This is very common on what I call the hardcore people that want to see extreme results. Most of the time when this is happening to you, that's because your calories are too restricted, number one. If you're normally eating 3,000 calories and suddenly you drop your calories down to 1,200 because you're trying to get some extreme results and shed the body fat really quickly, your metabolism crashes, number one, but also because your metabolism crashes, your body goes into a catabolic because it thinks it's starving. So when it thinks it's starving, it's gonna hold on to as much fat as it can and burn everything else. So that's why you're losing muscle. But also on top of that, you don't have a lot of calories, so you will still lose fat. But because you're losing muscle, you're losing fat, at the end, you lose weight. This is kind of what we call that skinny fat look. You know, the type of guys that you see that don't have a lot of muscle, you know, they may have a little tone here and there, they still carry belly fat, but they're just kind of thin because they burned a lot of that muscle. For this person, what you need to do is number one, you need to bring your calories back up, okay? And you don't need to be as high as you were if let's say you're eating 3,000 calories, you can bring it up to let's say 2,500. But dropping your calories drastically right off the back 
is going to crash your metabolism and have your body constantly in that catabolic state where you're burning muscle. Okay, so that's why you're losing weight. So that's why you don't have that look because even though you're losing weight, you think you're getting progress, a lot of that weight is muscle. Just look in the mirror and see. If you aren't happy with the ways your muscles looking and you've been actually weightlifting, then that's a big problem. That means you're in a catabolic state and your body's actually burning up the muscle. Okay, so you got to get your calories up. Okay, also you can try refeed days. Okay, refeed would ensure that your body stays anabolic. Okay, it kind of sparks your metabolism back up. Because when you start to diet like crazy, your metabolism starts to crash. But when you refeed, it kind of jumps it back up temporarily until it starts to come down again. But every time it comes down, you refeed it back up. You can do refeed days, I would say maybe once every three to four days, even sometimes for some people up to a week, depending on their physical activity. That's what we call the skinny fat people. Then we got number two. We got the people that gain muscle, they gain fat, and they gain weight. You start to work out and you gain muscle, right? Because you're in the gym three, four days a week. But you also gain fat. Why? Because you're not controlling how much you eat. These type of people usually just start to work out and then in their mind they're going, I'm not going to overeat or do anything crazy, I'm just going to eat normal. But what happens is when you work out, you burn a lot of calories, your muscles need a lot of calories to recover. Your appetite increases and you can't tell but you're actually eating more calories than what you used to. So if your goal is to build muscle, lose fat and you have this nice ripped body but you're eating more calories than what you used to, you'll gain weight. This is the type of guys that put on the muscle, but they also put on a little bit of fat, and even though they're getting great progress, they haven't lost a single pound, and their body fat's probably going up along with their muscle. So, guys, if you're running to this right now, what you need to do is not change a lot of things. You're gaining the muscle, so that means your workout's right. You're gaining fat, so that means you gotta restrict your calories down, okay? But don't make the mistake that these guys up here are making and just totally drop it by half, you know, or just stop eating altogether. Restrict it down slowly, okay? So a lot of times I always recommend maybe dropping it by about three to 500 calories. Testing it out, see how you like it, and then dropping it down slowly. For this person, if you just cut your calories down and you continue to work out, you will be able to drop the fat and then you'll be able to lose the weight, okay? And if weight loss isn't really your goal, it doesn't have to be, the main goal though is making sure you gain that muscle and lose the fat. Which then comes down to number three. If any of these guys are in this scenario, gaining muscle, losing fat, and then losing weight all together, that's perfect. That means what you're doing is your workouts are right, they're high intensity, you're training with good weights so that you're building the muscle, you're eating just enough calories to keep your metabolism to lose fat, but you're not dropping it significantly to where you're in starvation mode, so your body still is losing fat, okay? From the decrease in calories and also from the workouts and creating an afterburn effect. And then all in all, you're gonna lose weight. Oh, and also one more thing. Uh, this could also be that your workout intensity is not high enough. Make sure your workouts are good, increase your calories okay increase your calories and you will still lose weight okay increase your calories so this way you'll stop losing muscle and get your body out of that catabolic state and those refeed days you know aka cheat days number two gain muscle gain fat gain weight all you have to do is really simple restrict your calories down okay maybe add in a little bit of cardio if you need to but restricting your calories down right there will take care of the gaining fat you got the muscle part so you're good you do that and you'll start to lose weight and if you guys are doing this gaining muscle losing fat and losing weight altogether, you're good, man. You don't have to worry about a thing, okay? So I hope these little tips can help you out. Also, don't forget, go to harrys.com so you get your hookup on some razors. Thanks for watching, guys. See y'all next time. Peace.